Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a 20 box break. A 20 box football mixer which features 10 box sealed case of uh, autographed jerseys by Leaf, which is right here. We'll do these at the end. And we'll play a little lightning round of who am I with those 10 jerseys. That should be a lot of fun. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Congrats to the people who won spots in those two translucent breaks. First 16 are also eligible for the early bird special. The early bird can catch the worm, which is an extra spot in this break. Good luck. So let's get those 16 names. Let's randomize those 16 names. Snake Eyes, two times. Name on top gets the free spot or a bonus spot. One and two. Noah. There you go, Noah. So good job for being an early bird. You have caught the worm. That's a bonus spot for you. Now let's get everyone's names here. Pop them into this list right here. And let's roll it and randomize it four times. One and a three. One. One. Two. Three. What did I say? Four. Three and a one four times. Three. And fourth and final time. After four times, we've got Brian Langley. All the way down to Fred Williams. One and a three, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. We've got the Shy City Bears down to the Niners. Who I think barely escaped with the win. Thursday Night Football, is not it? All right, Brian with the Bears, TJ Leonard with the Cowboys, Nancy with the New York Football Giants, Chris Parent with the Ravens, Jason with the Browns, Levi with the Buccaneers. So the, the winners of the spots from the translucent breaks, you'll see the little rooftop next to your name, plus what uh, translucent break you won in. Noah with the Fly Eagles Fly, Brad with the Steelers, Randy with the Chiefs, Sean with the Dolphins, Brian with the Broncos, We've got Robert with the Robbie with the Panthers, Gabe with the Saints, Nancy with the Vikings, John with the Rams, Sean, Jets and Lions, Peter with the Falcons, Sean with the Bills, Tim with the Redskins, Nancy with the Colts, Peter with the Packers, Patrick with the Seahawks, Gabe with the Chargers, Noah, your early bird spot, Arizona football Cardinals. Big Boy 007 with the Pats, Joseph with the Texans, Aaron with the Raiders, uh, Brad with the Jaguars, Bengals for Noah, Matt with the Titans, and Fred with the San Francisco 49ers. Now I'm going to pause the video and kind of let people, give people time to digest their teams and then see, uh, see if they want to make any trades. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. There uh, was a trade between Noah and Sean. So Noah bangles. Sean had the... Uh, Dolphins and so now Sean has the Bengals and Noah now has the Dolphins so let's put a T next to the Bengals right there and a T next to the Dolphins right there so you know that's part of a trade so if you're watching at home if you're spectating you know who draws first blood in that trade all right so let's print this there you go Noah nice That'll be a nice gift. All right, Randy. If I pull you a, a, a nice Mahomes, where where are you located, Randy? We're we're close to the public right now, but you can pick it up tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow. All right, here you go. There it is. There's the final printout. Good luck, everybody. It's a pretty good mixer. Let's start with the, I'm gonna start with the oldest. We'll go to the newest. We'll end with honors. And then we'll, uh, for the table. And then we'll do the 10 jerseys last. So I think this Crown Royale 
from 2012 is your oldest thing here. Oh, you're in San, oh, you're, in San you're really close. Well, Randy, if you if you end up breaking with us more frequently, you can you can always arrange to 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 pick up all of your hits like once a week or something like that if you wanted to do that. I don't know how often you get to this area. Maybe that doesn't work for you. But that option is available if you'd like. All right, so this is 2012. It's uh, going back in time, back when everything was all, all good and well with Antonio Brown. That's probably expired, but Panini usually does a pretty good job about um, I do not remember this guy. Anyway, we'll sleeve and top load all of the numbered cards before they go out. Just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze by them. Josh Cooper, 25. And a Panthers die cut autograph. That's Luke Keekley. Nice. 8 out of 25. Oh, this is rookie Luke Keekley. Nice. I was like, I was like, when's his rookie year? Well, this is it. That's awesome. That goes to Robbie and the Panthers. And he got the uh, he got the Panthers. He got that spot randomized to him. It's a per spot he purchased straight up. That's what I'm trying to say. There you go. We got rookie pay dirt, Bernard Pierce, for the Ravens. That'll be for Chris Parent. That's to 149. There's Aaron Hernandez to 149. Like, the dude. That's a pretty shocking sports story. Like, Andrew Luck retiring, Aaron Hernandez being a murderer. Like, that was just such a, I mean, I'm sad for him. I mean, just his life just so weird. That's a pretty shocking story, I think. There's Julius Peppers. He's pretty good. And we've got Kendall Reyes, die-cut autograph. While, every, while you and I had Aaron Hernandez on your fantasy teams and just raking in the fantasy points, just had a weird double life. Scary. Don't remember this guy. <laughs> I love these, though. It's a little blast from the past. There's Adrian Peterson. Lance Briggs. All right. The redemption is... Rookie silhouette. I like. I love those silhouette autographs of. Do I remember this guy? R. Russ Russell. Russell Wilson. Wow. Brad. No, I'm sorry. Check that. That's uh, Patrick with the Seahawks. Now, I know it's expired, but I've heard of some cases where you could still rub off the silver right here and still plug this into the system. It'll still go through. Or, like, this is good enough. Holler at Panini. Be like, hey, any shot that I could get this? I know this is, like, from a million years ago. But it might, worth contact, might be worth contacting their customer service directly. I think... Uh, either call them or I think they, they're pretty responsive on Twitter. So, But I've heard, we've done some old Panini product where people have just have just entered in the redemption code and it still, it still goes through. So at least give that a shot first. All right, now we go to 2013 Fleer Retro. And 
these are all in their college gear. Is, do we have a checklist for this? Not sure if there's a checklist for this old 2013 upper deck. Fleer Retro. Let's see. GroupRateChecklist.com. What do they have? Oh, they have stuff from 2013. Oh, they have a checklist for 2012 Fleer Retro, but not 2013. All right. So that means we're going to have to go by our, our usual... Um, non-pro uniform rules there you go does cardboard connection have it jan but do they have the pro teams attached to it that's the that's the big question they usually they usually don't unless they did this year No, they do not, I'm afraid. So we'll go by our usual college, um, we'll go by our usual like college uniform, high school uniform, non-pro uniform rules. So if, uh, if it's an active player, it'll go to the team that he is currently on. Inactive player, go to the team they played for the longest according to profootballreference.com. We'll use games played as a tiebreaker, game started as the next tiebreaker. And I don't think we've ever had to go past that. <laughs> Also watching uh, Lakers at Dallas. Looks like Lakers already down 20 to 7. Guess they don't feel like playing defense today. Cooper, did Jason Tatum hit a buzzer beater? I should have not been that close. For Tatum to hit a, hit a game winner with a second left. That's not good. Uh, redemption was Russell Wilson. Not too shabby, right? Good luck, everybody. Nice Mike Allstott. What do we have here? Two autographs per box? Okay. Pretty cool Teddy Bruski right there. Oh, there's our first autograph. We got Jelani Jenkins, rookie sensation. Everyone remembers this guy, right? Old Florida linebacker. I mean, I know. I totally know. Just wondering if you guys know. Anyone, boys and girls? Uh, he's a free agent now, but so I guess he's not active. He's, Hasn't played since 2017, but he played with the Dolphins the longest. Spent a few seasons there, so that'll go to Miami. That goes to Noah. All right, one more autograph out of the box.
Oh, a redemption. Any guesses on that? Think back to 2013. There's Peyton die cut for the Colts. Now, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, it's a pretty cool looking one, too. I'm pretty sure that... Upper Deck is a little less forgiving about redemptions. So, we'll still send it to you anyway. There's Giovanni Bernard. Oh, there he is, Giovanni Bernard. We'll send it to you anyway. It's... Oh, it's barely readable. I see it. Aaron Dobson. Patriots, maybe? Yeah, no longer active, but currently, uh, but played the longest with the Patriots. Played a couple seasons with them. So that'll go to the Pats. He went to the Lions and then a Cardinals practice squad, but that was it, I'm afraid. We should just be veteran commons not shipping, and then everything else should be shipping. Yeah, no veteran NFL. So the item description says no NFL base commons ship. So vet commons not shipping. Uh, none of these collegiate cards ship except for the numbered card, short prints, and hits, which will our sorting team will dig all that stuff out too. Jan Tops, I think, more recently has started to honor some expired redemptions. I think Panini still is one of the best at at that at that though. Honoring expired redemptions. Upper Deck, I think, is the least friendly with that. They're I, they're actually I think they're still pretty strict about saying no, basically, just straight up. Jason Rice, you tell me. If you visit the website, jaspiescasebreaks.com, you can get into whatever you would like. I think the closest to breaking would be, well, um, well, I think Triple Threads is happening after this, is it not? Yeah, there's actually seven spots left in a Triple Threads random number block. And that sells out triple threads. And the details of that are on the site if you want to check that out. And then after that, we may try to circle back around to doing some more immaculate basketball from 2018-19. Because I think Immaculate Basketball is the next closest. Yeah, and then maybe we can work on chipping away at that impeccable football too. That would be pretty cool. We haven't done one of those in a while. All of that's on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. In fact, it's right there. There's the website. Eddie Lacy to 100.
And there's your autograph right there. That's Josh Boyce. Not Joe Montana. Cards. There we go. Josh Boyce. I don't remember. I don't remember Josh Boyce. He's currently inactive, but he played with. With the Patriots the longest, three seasons with the Patriots early in his career. So that's another one for Big Boys 007. And we got Roy Roundtree. Roy Roundtree is a current assistant coach for the Michigan Wolverines. And he played one season with the Bengals in 2013. So this is on to Cincinnati. That'll be for Sean. There you go. Blast from the past. We're still staying in 2013 right there with prominence. Did 2013 have a horrible draft class, E. Wilson? Yeah, it seems like it. Who are we chasing in 2013? There must be a chase in 2013. DeAndre Hopkins. Zach Ertz. Le'Veon Bell. Travis Kelsey. Keenan Allen. I think those are your your big chase. Latavius Murray. I think those are your your big chase players for 2003. That's not as bad as I thought it was. I feel like the first round didn't really yield. I mean, you got solid. You got Lane Johnson tackle. You know, Ezekiel Ansa, Eric Fisher. You know, but hobby wise, I don't know if. Offensive linemen really move the needle. We've been lucky that we've had a number of years where there have been quarterbacks taken so high in the draft. And we may see another draft next year where there'll be a lot of QBs taken. There's Arian Foster to 99, and Marcus Lattimore. Rookie class letter. 74 out of 199, 49ers. 
with Marcus Lattimore. Fred with the Niners. Got the Niners randomized to him with a spot that he won. There you go. There's Tyler Wilson to 199 and Jonathan Banks. Ooh, that's a cool patch right there. 16 out of 225 Buccaneers. That'll be for Levi. Also won that spot. And we got Colts' Kerwin Williams. 400 out of 999. Nancy with the Colts. All right, so that was 2013. Let's move into 2000. I think next one would be 2015. Which is this one right here. Draft picks. Does 2015 Panini Prism draft picks have a checklist from groupbreakchecklist.com? And yes, they do. So that's the checklist we're going to go by for this one box right here. So they group them by pro team, which is greatly appreciated. All right, these guys. Yeah, Jan, Marcus and Jameis rookie cards this year. And a lot of question marks around those two QBs. Uh, Marcus Mario's been benched for Tannehill. Might not be a Titan after, after this season's over. Jameis Winston's still a question mark around there. Still very turnover prone. He has to improve his decision making. Michael Dyer, tie-dye autograph, Louisville Cardinal. Michael Dyer, according to the checklist, I, I remember him as a bear or maybe a raider. <laughs> Raiders. Maybe he went to the Bears after the Raiders. That goes to Aaron Pettit. Martavis Bryant, Tevin Coleman, it's for Atlanta. He looked pretty good with the Niners the other week. Got Malcolm Brown, out of 99. And Titus Davis, who I think was a Titan on this checklist. No, Chargers. Alright, so that'll go to the Bolts, and that will be Gabe. With the Los Angeles Chargers. Let us find your perfect fit at stitchfix.com. And Marcus Peters. Chiefs. 
And that will be for Randy in Kansas City. Here's Bench Andy Dalton to 75. I think this probably the Bengals will probably move on from Mark uh, Marcus from Andy Dalton. Okay. We move on from 2015 to 2000. Do we have any 2016? No. Do we have 2017? Oh, you know what? I grabbed the wrong box. Sorry. I grabbed this Donner's optic box, but that's 2018. I'm going to flip screens for a second. We're supposed to do that. We're supposed to do that mega box in the bottom left from 2017. Sorry. Right here, we still have the jerseys right here too. There it is. This box is always we tripped me out because it's such a large box for just this small stack of packs, but. And then we'll go into 2019 after that. Or 2018 gold standard. Then two 2019s. Then we'll end with 2018 honors. Then we'll do the jerseys. And after this, what are we doing after this? I see some orders coming in. Great, now there's three left in that triple threads random number block, so it looks like that will happen after this mixer. Which should happen at around 7.45ish LA time. About another half an hour, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes to go in this break. There's Jamal Adams. Bummed out. Jamal Adams. And they were going to trade me. Chris Godwin, rated rookie. And having some good good season this year. Charles Harris, Dolphins. John Ross, the third, Bengals. And Deshaun Kaiser. Rookie Phenom relic for the Browns. That goes to Jason M. We do not, Gabe. Marshawn Lattimore and Brad Kaya at the end here. All right, now let's move into 2018 Gold Standard Football. Always love the gold bar look, gold standard. Is there a base card on the bottom? Yes. Ooh, and a one of one. That's nice. All right, first, there's... Mike McGlinchey to 99, and there's a one of one. And this guy's have been having a great season. One of one, Aaron Jones. Right. 
Nice Aaron Jones. One of one for the Packers. Peter with the pack. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And we got Dylan Cantrell to 149. Chargers, that's going to go to Gabe. We've got DJ Moore. Six out of 99. Jersey and autograph for the Panthers. Robbie with the Panthers. And you got newly minted relic, Ronald Jones the second. Four out of 49 for the Buccaneers. That will be for Levi, the Buccaneers. Carson Wentz, white gold relic to 225 for the Eagles. That's going to go to Noah and the Eagles. And we've got Odell Beckham Jr., white gold relic for the Giants out of 125. New York football Giants, Nancy. All right, we'll save that 2018 box for last. Let's do a couple 2019 now. Prism Football. We've got a full case of Prism Football. Pick your teams available right now, folks, if you want to check that out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Not sure if we're going to have time for that tonight, but if we get it close, it'll be one of our first breaks of the day tomorrow. Thank you, Fred. By the way, Triple Threads is officially sold out now. All the number blocks are done. So that's going to happen after this mixer. Dow's still leading. My Lakers, 31-24. Lakers cut the lead down. Good luck, everybody. This is 2019 Prism Football, your current draft class. And we've got a Rodney Anderson for the Bengals. Rookie auto for Sean and the Bengals. We got Greedy Williams to 175. 95 out of 175. Got Noah Fant, Silver, Trace McSorley for the Ravens to 249. The Ravens have a shot this week, folks. They're playing the Patriots. Do they have a shot at winning outright against this guy? There's Lonnie Johnson Jr. to 99. The Ravens can run. And that's like the that, that's like the one little weakness in that Patriots defense. There's Vance McDonald, 249. This guy got a lot of yards. I mean, he had a couple fumbles, that didn't help, but but he had he put a lot of yards on the Patriots. Is that going to be enough for the Patriots to win outright? Case Keenum to 175. Or are the Patriots, are they just rolling? Patriots are just rolling right now. That they'll just win somehow, some way. There's Drew Locke. Might see him in action in a couple weeks. I think they IR Joe Flacco. Denver Broncos. That will be for Brian Langley. So that guy's stock may, may be going up. There's Hunter Henry. Out of 175. 
Ooh, Redemption. Who are the Redemptions in Prism NFL? Stefan Diggs to 249. Oh. Andrew Luck Camo to 25. Sammy Watkins, Chiefs to 249. All right, and the redemption is going to be, bam, Benny Snell Jr. That'll be for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Brad, with the Steelers. Twenty nineteen Spectra football. Love the Spectra football. There's the Jason Tatum shot. All right, there is Andy Dalton. Where does Andy Dalton go? I mean, maybe the Bengals are going to move on from him. There's seven out of fifteen, and then so now what? We got Max Impact Dante Pettis for the Niners. Fred Williams with the Niners. To 199. Niners looking good, undefeated. We have Pillars of the Game, Ray Lewis. What time is it? Game time. Gary hopes that the Ravens will, uh, will destroy the Patriots. That one will go to Chris Parent and the Purple Birds. Back here we've got JJ Arthigo Whiteside. Three color patch and autograph for Noah and the Fly Eagles Fly. 70 out of 99 on that one. We got an Irv Smith Jr. die cut for the Vikings. 33 out of 50. Nancy with the Vikings, last spot mojo. We got more Niners. There's Debo Samuel Jr. Nope, just Debo Samuel. <laughs> I don't know why I threw a Jr. in there. 161 out of 199 at Niners. Fred. We got... Rod Woodson, Epic Legends Relic. 45 out of 99, Pittsburgh Steelers. Brad. And down here is Dwayne Haskins. Nice. Purple refractor. Three color patch. Purple ink autograph. That goes to Tim Martin and the Washington Redskins. Six out of 20. Might start seeing more of him. All right. Oh, poor J.J. Watt. Torn pectoral. Done for the season. It's 99. Just, I guess... Father Time just catching up with him, Joseph Andreessen. We got rookie aura, Dwayne Haskins. Nice. It's 25. And we got building blocks, triple relic, TJ Hawkins in jersey. Looks like a piece of the his glove and a piece of the pigskin. 27 out of 50. That will be for Sean and the Lions. And we've got a bear. We've got Tariq Cohen, Chicago Bears. Brian Langley with Chicago, 54 out of 99. 
There's Drew Brees, neon green die cut. He's back in action. He looked good. 30 out of 30. 30 for 30. That is Gabe with the Saints. Then we've got Dwayne Haskins, neon pink. 15 out of 25. Another one for Tim Martin. Then we've got Isaac Bruce, 8 out of 10. Nice. Milestone moments, two-color patch. 1,781 yards in 1995? That's wild. John McCall with the Rams. There you go, JR. And the autograph is Evan Ingram for Nancy. Right on the card as well. New York football Giants. He's pretty good. Neon pink is 4 out of 15. Nice. All right. Honors and then jerseys. Forgot they <laughs> didn't want to spoil it too too early there. All right. There is Roquan Smith Green. That is out of seventy five. We got David Johnson Cardinals. That's out of twenty five. All right. The first one here is James Washington. 43 out of 75. Steelers with that one. Brad with the Steelers. And what's this one here? Ooh. Ooh. Canton Calligraphy. Another great receiver. Steve Largen. One out of two. From Plates and Patches. Nice. Seahawks. That's for Patrick K. And all aboard the Big Head Express. Nice. So that was 10 boxes. Now, let's do 10 jerseys. And we can play some. Let me put, make myself a little room here. Play a quick round of rounds of who am I. all the jerseys right up here. Let's just do these one at a time. Here we go. So that's what you're looking for. And the, the same college rules will apply as well if they happen to be in their college colors, right? Current players, Jersey will go to the team they're currently on. Retired players, if it's college, then it'll go to the team they played for the longest in their career. All right. Who am I? Let's play a some quick rounds of who am I? We'll make this kind of quick so we can fly through this and get to the next break. Um, who am I? I am a Norwegian-born former American football player for the AFL, NFL, Kansas City Chiefs, Packers, and Vikings. I am the first place kicker to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame and the first Norwegian to play in the NFL. 
went to college in Montana State. I think Chiefs most of his career. And a Super Bowl champ. Yep, William L. has got it. It's Jan Stenerud. There's Jan Stenerud. There's the authentication right here. That'll go to Randy and the Chiefs. There he is. There's his autograph. Nice. There's a number three. And we'll keep it nice and folded right here. These are just custom jerseys. There's so nothing really else on them. There you go, Randy. All right, next one. Who am I? Oh, I see. Jan, apologies. All right. You're welcome, Randy. Who am I? I'm a retired defensive end and outside linebacker. Pro Football Hall of Famer. Drafted in 1997. Went to Akron College. Six-time Pro Bowler. An NFL Sacks leader in 02. Two-time AFC Defensive Player of the Year in 02 and 06. NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 06. Walter Payton Man of the Year, NFL 2000's All-Decade Team. 775 tackles, 139 and a half quarterback sacks, 8 interceptions, 47 forced fumbles, 29 fumbles recovered, 9 touchdowns. Man, what a beast. Forgot how good he was. Yep, Brad, you've got it. Jason Taylor. Man, just for him, too. There it is. He spent the most of his career. There's Dolphins colors, right? Most of his career with the Dolphins. There's his autograph right there. JSA as well. That's pretty cool. That goes to the Dolphins. That goes to Noah, who got the Dolphins in a trade. Next jersey. Oh, nice. That's right. I, I totally forgot at the beginning of the break. Uh, Noah said that he wanted the Dolphins because his uncle is a big Dolphins fan. His uncle's a big Dolphins fan. He wanted to give him something for Christmas. There you go. Chris, Christmas shopping for your uncle. Done. All right. All right. Who am I? Who am I? Former uh, NFL offensive lineman. I was an All-American at Michigan State. Selected by the Buffalo Bills in the first round of the 1973 NFL Draft. I've got a hockey player last name. Played with the Bills most of my career, then with the Browns for a little bit. Been back to the Bills. And then the Charlotte Rage in 1992. Six-time Pro Bowler. And I'm a Hall of Famer. Part of the 1970s All-Decade team. Part of the Buffalo Bills Wall of Fame and the Cleveland Browns Ring of Honor. He's also one of the first living players 
a living NFL player should be tested and diagnosed with CTE. 68 years old. And I've got a hockey last name. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Gabe. You got it. De, de, la, de la Milurier. There's his autograph right there. There's the Beckett sticker right here. The Beckett card. His last name doesn't fit. Oh, there he is. Nice. Buffalo Bills. Buffalo. That goes to Sean, who won that spot. And the translucent break. one these jerseys are pretty great it's a nice way to add something a little different to your uh, to your collection I'm an active wide receiver uh, in the NFL. 6'2", 220 pounds, played at Penn State, played for two teams my entire career, one-time Pro Bowler. Um, and that year I went to the Pro Bowl, I was the NFL receiving touchdowns co-leader. Went to Penn State, was a consensus All-American, a two-time first-team All-Big Ten player, and a two-time Richter Howard receiver of the year. Career, 303 receptions in the NFL for 4,128 yards and 29 receiving touchdowns. Um, Penn State, 2014, drafted in 2014, the second round. Jason Rice, yes. I did say it just like that slot machine, correct. Buffalo! There you go, Gabe. Allen Robinson, Chicago Bears edition. Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson, Brian Langley. With the Bears. There's his autograph right there. There's all the necessary stickers and whatnot there to authenticate everything. All official. All good. Alan Robinson. I feel like maybe if was on a different team, you would think that maybe... I mean, it was a Pro Bowler. I don't know why. That's not going to Allen Robinson. Look, I wrote Allen Robinson here. That's not going to go to Allen. Allen Robinson will get this in the mail. And he'll be like, why do I have my own jersey? Allen Robinson will, will email jazbeescasebreaks at gmail.com or customer service email. And he'll be like, you guys. I don't need this. I don't need the jersey. I already got one. I already got one. I don't need this. I don't need my own autograph. <laughs> He's going to be like, this is... I guess so. I guess it has been a long day. It's been a pretty busy week. Pretty busy month. All right, next one. Alan Robinson. Why did I get this in the mail? All right, who am I? Who am I? I am nicknamed Mr. Cowboy. From only Texas, 6'5", 260, a defensive tackle, went to TCU and played for this team, the Dallas Cowboys, my entire career. A Super Bowl champ, Pro Football Hall of Famer, College Football Hall of Famer, 11-time uh, Pro Bowler, 17, 7-time, 1st-team All-Pro, 
75th anniversary all-time team, 1970s all-decade team, 1960s all-decade team, Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor. Old number 74, Mr. Cowboy. All Texas, only Texas, TCU. Although he went to high school in Oregon. It's kind of random. Not Allen, not Ed Jones, not Too Tall, not White. The other guy. The other defensive legend. He's a... Are you still alive? He is. He's 80. I guess he's a bit of a photographer in his... Yeah. He, offer, he operated a beer distribution business until 1982 when he saw the impact of a traffic accident caused by a drunken driver. Drunk driver decided to sell the company and launch his landscape photography career. No, nope, not Rayfield Wright. Not Henderson. Oh, come on. The other guy. All the great Cowboys defenders, and then this guy. He's pretty common in these Leaf products, too. I thought everyone would get it right away. This goes to the Dallas Cowboys. That's for T.J. Leonard. It's going to be Bob Lilly. You guys can't forget about Bob Lilly. Landscape photographer Bob Lilly. Hall of Famer Bob Lilly. Nice one for T.J. Leonard. Yeah, Mr. Cowboy himself. But I guess he went to high school in Oregon, which is kind of random. All right, so T.J. Leonard with that one. All right, we, have, we did one, two, three, four, five. We have five more to go. And then triple threads coming up after this. Who am I? All right, who am I? I am a former quarterback for the Miami Sharks. I was a third-string quarterback, and I had a history that eventually led me to distrust my coaches. In particular, while playing for a previous franchise, I was made into a, a, a defensive secondary player for having fast feet. I want to be a quarterback, I said, but I was eventually injured while making a tackle. I believe that at that time, racism played a major role in the history of being denied the opportunities that I feel like I deserve. Using an alternative of placism to describe a lack of African-American quarterback and head coach in pro football. I took over as a starter after injuries to, uh, to, to John Rooney, quarterback John Rooney, and the backup quarterback. And then, though surprisingly successful, I caused tension among staff and teammates. And I frequently changed the plays at the, at the line, just called my own. And these acts created some major tension with head coach Anthony D'Amato. Now, while coach respects my ability, athletic ability, and acknowledges my talents for warrant me to be a quarterback, but criticizes my lack of leadership skills and intangibles, I began a singing career, and I even asked the owner for, uh, owner for a date when she enters, enters a post-game locker room full of naked dudes. Wow. Huh. My antics on and off the field eventually uh, get myself demoted by the coach, who kind of looks like Al Pacino, who firmly believes that a quarterback's most important role is to lead the team and help them keep them confident. Both of which I took a clear disregard for. So, I later mature and inspired by the, the, coach, the coach's uh, gutsy performance in the Miami Sharks' first playoff game. Who am I? 
What a what a what a what a career. <laughs> yes, Vanilla Gorilla cap cards have got it. This is Willie Beeman of the Miami Sharks. Old Willie Beeman. <laughs> who's, who's from any given Sunday, Jamie Foxx. There's his autograph right there. So that'll be randomized to one person in the break. So everyone has a shot at this. That's pretty cool. Old Willie Beeman from any given Sunday. Yeah, old Willie Beeman for the Miami Sharks. Remember his running back, Julian J. Man Washington? Oh, old Willie Beeman, Brad. Third string quarterback, try to make him a cornerback. Yeah, he had none of that. Not Willie Beeman. All right, who am I? I am a, I am a real football player. All right, who am I? I am an active wide receiver standing at 5'11", 198 pounds from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Went to school in Nolens, Louisiana. Went to college in LSU and was drafted in 2014. Played for two teams my entire career, but the colors of this jersey is the first team that I played for, not my current team. Three-time Pro Bowler, NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2014, PFWA, all-rookie team in 2014, SEC champion in 2011, Paul Horning Award in 2013. I'm teammates with Jarvis Landry. Current teammates with Jarvis Landry, but this is my the previous team that I that I played for. 424 receptions in my career, 5,964 receiving yards, 45 receiving touchdowns. Now I think Jay got it. Yeah, it's either Odell or Jarvis, right? Yep, it's Odell Beckham Jr. in his Giants blue colors right here. There's his autograph right here. And that goes to Nancy, who has the New York football Giants. There you go, Nancy. Oh, he's it's on the sell sheet right here, too. Next one, who am I? America's favorite game, who am I? It can happen anytime. Who am I? I am a forter, for, forter? former quarterback. I'm going to mix those two words up. Former quarterback. Played my entire career with one team. Six-time Pro Bowler, two-time first-team All-Pro. Two-time second-team All-Pro and NFL Offensive Player of the Year in 1982. Threw 254 touchdowns to my 242 interceptions, 43,040 passing yards, and I'm in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Born in San Francisco, went to high school in San Francisco, went to college at Oregon, and drafted in 1973 in the third round. And I do color commentary for uh, CBS. NFL these days. I still live. I live in Oregon now. My dad's name is Bob, who's who's a Bay Area Radio Hall of Famer. Yep, yep. Vanilla Gorilla's got it. Mark Matheson, Gabe, William, Dan Fouts. 
Played for the Chargers his entire career. Went to college in San Diego. Still, still beloved down there in San Diego, I feel like. Nice. Got all the Beckett stuff right here. Beckett card over here. Chargers, that'll be for Gabe Plunkert. With the Bolts, the San Diego Super Chargers. They've got a fun song, too, I think. It's having to do the San Diego Super Chargers. Two more to go. I see one more on the bottom there. And then we'll give away that Jamie Foxx. One person in the break will will get it. No other randomizers. Kind of surprised that. There was no other randomizers in that mixer. All right. Who am I? I am an active quarterback in the NFL. I have a career. Career nine touchdowns and four interceptions. I have 2,229 career passing yards. I have a career 89.2 passer rating. I have a career 313 rushing yards with two rushing touchdowns. Who am I? I'm 22 years old from Bedford, Texas, standing at 5'10". Wikipedia has him at 5'10". That's not true. 5'10", 207 pounds. Went to Allen High School in Allen, Texas. Won a Heisman at Oklahoma, and I was a first round pick, first overall in 2019. Yep, Brad and James got it. Kyler Murray. And that goes to Noah. And that's an early bird spot. Wow. Pretty strong right there. That's a great hit. And he's been playing pretty well too. Yeah, Noah, Noah's like, I've heard of him. I can work with that. I've heard of him. He's been playing pretty well this season. Five ten though. Wikipedia says five ten. I feel like Kyler Murray's changing that. I feel like every time someone puts the accurate height on there, Kyler Murray's going back to ch change change it in Wikipedia. Under his like burner Wikipedia account. That's it, folks. That was the last one. All right. Oh, and uh, the person who was asking about Immaculate Hoops, yes, 17 did happen. That video is already up, Sammy Boy. Uh, Matt Thames, yes, Triple Threads 12 did fill up, but we've been spending the last hour doing this mixer, but it's almost done, and we'll be going to Triple Threads 12 after this. Yeah, if you look on the website, Matt, you'll be able to see all the spots left numbers are at zero. So it did fill. All right, final one. Good luck, everyone. All right. Who am I? I'm an active running back for this particular team. I have uh, 1,680 rushing, career rushing yards, 13 career rushing touchdowns, 113 receptions, 
and 882 receiving yards, five receiving touchdowns. Nice. Matt Thames just nailed it like this. Saquon Barkley went to Penn State, 2018 NFL Draft, round one, pick two. For the New York Football Giants, a Pro Bowler, Rookie of the Year, NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. There you go. There's his autograph, the Beckett sticker. Volleyball Nancy. Nancy with the Giants. That's awesome. So Kyler Murray... Saquon Barkley, and now we're going to give away the Willie Beeman jersey with Jamie Foxx's autograph on it. So you got the Odell Beckham Jr., Nancy, and you got the Saquon Barkley in this one. That is strong. All right, now everybody has a chance at the Jamie Foxx autograph. So let's go back to the list here. Well, that's from a different break. That was the translucent. Let's go back to this list here. Noah down to Tim, and everyone in between has a shot at it. Name on top. We'll get the Jamie Foxx autograph after one and a three, four times. One, two, three, and fourth and final time after four times. Name on top. is Sean. There you go, Sean. You get the Jamie Foxx autograph thanks to your winning spot from Translucent number 28. And there you have it, folks. Thanks for joining this mixer. This is a lot of fun. There'll be more like this in the store. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe, and we'll see you for the next break. Bye-bye.